Hello, this is Eric here at Randy Cycle, and we are taking a look at this 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 650. All right, so this is the Ninja 650 inline 650 cylinder, 650 cc two cylinder motorcycle. Okay, this bike is in good condition. There's some little things I'm going to point out. It's got a fender eliminator on there so it takes the big honking fender away and has a little tiny bracket for your license plate all right uh passenger pegs uh here's a uh, charger lead condition of the plastics on the left side looks really good looking down at the seat some very minor kick scratches here very minor has these tank pads uh, left and right, which are kind of coming off a little bit. I don't know if I want to remove them. I think I'm going to keep them on there. You probably could work some glue on on there to take them off or clean them up and put them back on. Got a little bit of a scratch here. It's hard to see. There it is. Looking down on the tank, we got a chip on the right side. We got a spider on the left side. Um, it's in pretty good. Like I say, one little chip and one small scratch. Looking at the left side, left side plastics. That's looking good. The front fairing is decent shape. Mirror is in good shape. The front cowl here is good. Fender, that's all good. Got some dirt in there, but uh, is that one little road chip? Yeah, one little road chip there. Coming up to the front, the windshield's in decent shape. Got some bugs on it, but other than that, Plastics are looking good. The right side now, moving on over. And taking a look at some tire. Tire, good good condition. It's got oh, fairly low miles. We'll get to that near the end of the video. Fender, looking good. Some dirt on the back. Yep, some dirt, 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 and more dirt. Yep, some, some dirt. Okay, now the right side plastics, well, they're not destroyed, but they have some very light scratches throughout. I don't know if he scraped up against something. That's kind of what it looks like. I don't see any real indication that the bike's been down. The case covers not scratched. Foot pegs are not scratched. The brake pedal. Got some shoe leather on there. But that's looking good. The, the little muffler shroud. That's all looking good. So there's like the smallest of something on the bar end here. So if it did go down, it was very light. This is just in the very surface of the plastic and the sticker labels. So it doesn't even go very deep, but but they're, they're definitely there. That's a good shot of them there and kind of going down there. Okay, coming up to the tank area again, that's good. And the rear plastics are looking okay. Little scuff here, maybe a passenger from having a passenger up on there. Okay, rear tire wear is decent. Doesn't seem cupped. Uh, good, tires are good. All right, let's get a shot of the mileage here and we'll get it started up. Bringing them up. Yeah, you can't really see it good because of the refresh rate. There it is up top, 25 something. So just over 2,500 miles. be on a Ninja 650. Oh, I forgot to mention, it's been lowered. To me, it looks like it's a Sufi's lowering kit, because that's the type of kickstand they use when you lower a bike to replace the stock stand, so it leans correctly, and then there's the linkage in there, and there's, see that in between the chain there? That's the set screw where you can adjust, you can raise and lower. It looks like it's cranked down to about as low as it can go. So if you're a shorter rider, this would be good. If you're a taller rider, we could just make a quick adjustment and then crank it back up to uh, more of a standard height. All right, here's some rubs. Here we go. 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 650. That's the KRT. That's the Kawasaki Racing Team colors we're seeing here. And it has AV 
ABS. Okay, that's going to end the video today. I'm Eric here at Brandy Cycles in Marengo, Illinois. We'll catch you on the flip side.